I love the color of these cookies. That is my favorite part. And you can actually make them all year round if you just use different nuts and different dried fruit. But we're gonna start by creaming the butter and the sugar together. So I'm using one stick of room temperature unsalted butter. We're gonna add sugar. It's really important to use room temperature butter. That way you get a really soft, smooth cookie dough. All right, well, one more thing. Can't forget my lemon zest. I will cream all of these together. We're gonna use just a little lemon zest. It really does lighten the flavors of the uh, biscotti. And just a little more. Mmm. All right, let's cream these together just until they're light and fluffy. And you can do that on sort of a high speed, and that way it creams the sugar in the butter so that when you take a bite of those cookies, you can't actually taste the sugar. It's sort of all one bite. Every bit of sweetness, every bit of creaminess, it's all in one bite. And the great thing is, too, you can make a ton of them, and they, they keep for a long time. We're gonna add the eggs one at a time. Wait for it to sort of mix in and blend, and then we're ready to add the next egg. Okay, a pinch of salt, just a pinch. Remember, the salt sort of equalizes the amount of sugar in a cookie. And we're gonna add the flour and the baking powder that I've already whisked together. So we've got two cups of flour and one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. And the baking powder sort of makes the cookies lighter and fluffier, makes them grow. And I've already whisked it together to keep the flour light and fluffy so it doesn't weigh down the cookies. We're gonna slow the machine down just a little bit here because I don't wanna get covered in flour. We're gonna add a little bit of flour at a time. There we go. And let it blend in. And as soon as you see that the flour's blend into the butter, add more flour. You don't wanna add it all at one time because you're gonna get a clumpy, heavy dough. And that's it. Now, I'm going to lift this and clean the paddle off. See how nice that dough is? Oh, it's perfect. We'll take the paddle off. There we go. And I'm gonna add cranberries and pistachios. You could add any nut you want. Walnuts, hazelnuts, almonds. And I like to add it at the end here because I don't want the paddle to break up the nuts and the cranberries. I want them to sort of stay in their natural shape. Now, all I have to do is for my long log, cook it at 350 for 40 minutes, and then I'm gonna show you how to put together these great holiday cookies. time to slice the loaf. And I'm cutting them about half to three quarters of an inch each. And I'm gonna put them back in the oven for another 15 minutes. They've been baked twice, perfect. Smell good too. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take each one and we're gonna dip it in melted white chocolate. I like to dip one half of the cookie. That way you can see the cranberries and the pistachios on the other half. Just go ahead and do the next one. And you can dip it a couple of times to get a nice thick coating. Perfect. Now, I'm gonna show you one little last touch that I like to add. I take some red sugar and some green sugar, and I just sprinkle it right over the white chocolate. Oh, that looks beautiful. They sparkle now.